Montgomery County Sheriff's Office tonight now investigating the deaths of two Woodlands High School students who we've learned may have died from a drug overdose. Just really shocked the community. Fox 26's Domly Keith joins us live outside the Woodlands High School. Yeah, the Conroe ISD crisis support team was made available to students here at the Woodlands High School today after two seniors died yesterday from what's believed to be an overdose of drugs. It's been very, very heavy on my mind. The deaths of two Woodlands High School seniors potentially by drug overdose has opened painful wounds for Sarah Hall. We have three other great kids, but um, we have one that's an angel now. Whose son Ethan also died of an overdose in Montgomery County back in August of 2020. Grief is, is a physical pain unlike any other. The grieving mom started the nonprofit Montgomery County Overdose Prevention Endeavor. It's happening too much. It's too rampant. Something has to be done. So we couldn't save our children, but maybe we could work to save someone else's. The investigation into the deaths of the two Woodlands High School seniors is still early. And it's presumptive uh, that could be possibly be a drug related overdose, but it'll be several weeks uh, before that is conclusively determined. Judge Wayne Mack is a Montgomery County Justice of the Peace and one of the county coroners. And since COVID is there has been a 30% increase in death by overdose, accidental overdose. They've got to be aware of what is out there and what can happen to them. One pill can kill. Paul, who now celebrates her son in a number of ways, including this tree planted in his honor, wants to encourage parents to have that tough conversation with their kids about drugs. Graduation parties, summer's about to happen, kids will be going to the beach, people will be partying. You just have to realize that your choices can end up killing you. And unfortunately, this time of year, we, we see these, these things kind of happen. Uh, I've been up all night. He's just returning to the office after working a teen suicide and another potential overdose. This is a public health epidemic. It's just, it's, it's too dangerous. It's not worth it. And if anything, think about your parents, what it's going to do to your parents if something happens to you. And Judge Mack says drug overdose deaths due to fentanyl alone has increased more than 200 percent since 2019. He also says before COVID, mental health and addiction services were at capacity and now they are beyond capacity. But MCOPE has connections to a lot of resources. If you need to reach the nonprofit organization, we have their contact information on our website. Reporting live in the Woodlands, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.